Larry the Musical is an American journey. Larry the Musical, an American journey, is a musical about the life and legacy of Filipino American labor leader Larry Itliong. Here to tell us more about the musical are actors Jocelyn Thompson Jordan and Emard Cabling. Jocelyn, Emard, thank you so much for joining me here at Live in the Bay. Thanks for having us. <laughs> yes, I want to hear all about Larry the Musical. For so, for anyone that doesn't know, tell us first what it's about. Jo Jocelyn, I'll start with you. Um, yeah, it's about. Larry um, in his life, um, but not only that, it's also about uh, a beloved leader in the Filipino community, uh, Don uh, Mabalan, and um, just about all the work they did to, for Larry, he um, was really fighting for the rights for farm workers in uh, Delano and in Stockton and all those places in Central California, and yeah. I, I'm like, yeah, Larry Itliong mm -hmm. also is also considered one of the fathers of the West Coast labor movement. Mm -hmm. he, he helped organize thousands of Filipinos, Mexicans, and workers uh, with Dolores Huerta and Cesar Chavez in forming the United Farm Workers. Mm -hmm. Why is this such an important story to tell? Um, well, it's important because um, uh, it's just important to tell the stories about Filipinos. Uh, and Dawn's uh, work uh, throughout her life was about uplifting the stories of Filipinos. And so, um, yeah, she wrote the book um, Journey for Justice, uh, a life about the life of Larry Itliong. And she unfortunately passed right as it was finished. And so it's about, like, preserving uh, Larry's legacy, it's about preserving Don's leg legacy and like Filipino history as a whole. Mm -hmm. Amar, tell me a little bit about your character and what it's taken for you to prepare and get into this role. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> To play such an important icon in the Filipino history uh, is, is it's very hard because I want to capture his his essence, his his bravado, his aura, instead mm -hmm. of making him uh, making it uh, imitation of who he was. But I'm trying to gain his confidence and in my lines just show how he can lead people into uniting together to to mm -hmm. for justice and and for equality. And it's it's a challenge, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, what is, you, you said it's challenging. What has it taken you to be able to do that? What are some of the steps that you've taken? Tons and tons of YouTube videos, research, and anecdotes from actual Manongs and Manangs who uh, lived during the time of Larry Itliong, listening to their stories and what he meant to them um, in the labor movement, and listening and actually seeing how much respect they have for Larry, and I want to carry that respect on as well. Yeah, I can mm -hmm. see the passion in you <laughs> just wanting to really do the character justice. Yeah. So, um, you know, kudos to you for just going the extra mile and really trying to dive deep and get the information that you need. Jocelyn, what about you? What has it taken for you to prepare for this character? Um, it's same. It's like, it's not about imitating uh, uh, or like trying to recreate who Don was. It's about the essence. And for her, um, it was a, uh, the responsibility of carrying this story of like the Filipino uh, community. And so I like to put on my backpack of ancestors um, before each show, like, you know, just uh, to remind myself, like, you know, this is a bigger show than just me. It's about all of us, really. And like, not even, even if you're not Filipino, you can gain something from this because it's about love. It's about um, sacrifice. You know, yeah, it's about a lot of different things that people can connect with. So, um, yeah, preparing for this was uh, hearing a lot of stories about Dawn and all of the work that she did, how dedicated she was. So um, I can only just dedicate myself to this role as much as she had, you know, in yeah. her life. I love that analogy of mm -hmm. putting your ancestors backpack, backpack. on mm -hmm. and really you want to always, you know, pay homage and really do them proud. So mm -hmm. I love that. I know that's going to come through for both of you guys when you're <laughs> on that stage. What do you want people to take away when they're sitting in the audience? What do you want them to take away from this? Oh, uh, well, one, pride um, in uh, just the fact that, you know, I, I guess specifically for, like, people who are Filipino, um, like, all the work and sacrifice that we've done, all the accomplishments that we've done, um, it's, like, really amazing to see um, it, like, you know, told in this way. Um, and you just leave the theater feeling like, oh, yeah, yeah, a renewed sense of healing mm -hmm. and an embrace and, and a hug from the entire Filipino community. Not yeah. just Filipinos, but everybody who comes see the show says that there are universal themes in it that mm -hmm. actually um, make them think about themselves and what it means to take up space yeah. and be a part of a community. 
Mm -hmm. I love that. I yeah. really do. So one more time, tell everyone where they can catch it um, and how they can get tickets. Mm -hmm. Well, it's playing right now um, until April 14th, and uh, it's at the beautiful Brava Theater in the Mission, Mission District. Um, you can go to LarryTheMusical.com to get your tickets. There's also a special code, um, Larry30, that's L-A-R-R-Y, then the numbers three and zero. Um, and that will get you 30% off your ticket prices, and that expires on the 29th. Love yeah. that. Okay, one more note before I let mm -hmm. you guys go. Um, kind of just besides the feeling of pride and, you know, what is a message that you want people to take away that they can, you know, use in their everyday life? Um... Well, uh, my favorite is just from the song, uh, Together We Tell Our Story. Um, and so it's about um, not just one person uh, being like a hero or the one mm. to like carry the legacy on. It's about all of us taking um, a stand and fighting for what we believe in and what is right. And so, yeah, and we, we do it together. We don't do it alone. I love that. That's it. I'll let you take that. That's you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you got that. And, okay, one other final question. What do you want to shout out to your to the whole crew that's been working together to put this on? Um, what message do you have for them? Mahal kita. Yes. I love you. I, I, love, I love the whole. I <laughs> yeah. um, it's just, I love this crew. I love everybody working on it. Uh, if not the first, this is one of the first all Filipino creative mm -hmm. teams ever in the history of musical theater. Yes. Wow. And uh, I just love you all. We love you all. Yeah, we're doing it. And yeah. I'm so proud of everybody. Like, I, I'm just so happy to be a part of this team and everybody. We just love each other a lot. And I feel like you'll be able to see that when you come see the musical. Yeah. Yes, I was going to say, it's really, I'm feeling that right now sitting here talking with both of okay. you, so I know that's going to translate on the stage. So thank you both so much for joining me here and sharing a little bit more about it. Everyone needs to go out and get their tickets yeah. to catch you guys. Thank you. Thank you.